Next, we're going to examine the patient's medial meniscus and medial collateral ligament. The medial collateral ligament lies just on top of the meniscus and can be seen on the same image. To identify this structure, I'm going to place my transducer in the longitudinal plane and palpate the patient's joint in the center, place the probe over that area, and center the meniscus in my screen for viewing. The medial meniscus is a wedge-like structure. To determine if there's acute trauma, we can put color Doppler on the meniscus. Here there's no significant trauma or suggestion of any increased vascularity. In addition, we can zoom into the meniscus. I do this by pressing the zoom button, squaring the image, centering it, and pressing the zoom once again. And here I visualize the meniscus, which appears healthy with no significant trauma. Overlying the meniscus lies the medial collateral ligament, which is a band-like structure that we can see directly above the medial meniscus. I recommend starting at the medial meniscus to identify the medial collateral ligament and then tracing the ligament at its proximal and then distal insertion. We begin by following from the medial meniscus, seeing the medial collateral ligament approximately to the femoral condyle. It's important to have knowledge of the anatomy and know that the direction that the medial collateral ligament travels. So we're going to travel the medial collateral ligament approximately while looking at the screen to maintain an accurate image. We see the medial collateral ligament bending down and heading towards the attachment at its proximal end here. We're going to begin at our starting point, which will be the medial meniscus, and follow it distally along to its insertion. Following along here, you see the thick band of the medial collateral ligament. It actually inserts quite distally. And what we can also see down here are important structures known as the pes anserine tendons. These appear at the right of the screen as three discrete tendons of darkness.